name is Siobhan McDonough. I'm a member of Parliament for Mitcham and Morgan, and I hope a long-standing friend of the Tamil community who is proud to join you all today to mark Tamil Remembrance Day. For 12 years since the end of the Sri Lankan Civil War, I have stood side by side with the Tamil community on your road to truth, justice and accountability. 12 years that has presented you with so many challenges and so little progress with so much pain. Today we gather to honour the memory of all those who died. We reflect on the road to reconciliation that lies ahead and we reaffirm our strong belief that only truth, justice and accountability will set Sri Lanka on a path to lasting peace. In Parliament, I take great pride in my role as Vice-Chair of the All-Party Parliamentary Group for the Tamil Community. It is an honour to represent the Tamil community in Westminster. In March, I had the honour of holding a debate in the House of Commons to coincide with the United Nations Human Rights Council meeting, where a new resolution on Sri Lanka was adopted with the UK a pen holder. The debate was timely with the opportunity to press the UK government the, the imperativeness of finally securing progress. Because to this day, no one has been held accountable for international crimes committed. Crimes that have led many to accuse the Sri Lankan government of genocide against the Tamil community. The pursuit of justice must now move decisively to a forward with far more sincerity from the international community. The recent Human Rights Council meeting should have provided the perfect opportunity. But whilst the pursuit of justice continues, today is a day of remembrance. We gather to remember lost loved ones, including all those who lost their lives and all those who are still missing. We stand in support of their friends and family who are all still mourning. And we reflect on the years of pain that have been endured. I'd like to finish this message by saying loud and clear that however long the road to reconciliation may still be, we will keep fighting for justice and human rights until they are received by the Tamil people.